So I've been doing videos for over a decade. I have a bunch of them, so I get a lot of comments. And I appreciate the comments, both those that are uh, just thankful, thanking me for my videos, and then I also get, you know, sometimes suggestions. And I, I love suggestions that will improve what I'm doing. Lots of times, and I've complained about this in the past, where people will write these comments that don't apply to the video in, in some sense. So like, I'll do a video on how to do something in GIMP, and someone in the comment will be like, you should use Inkscape for that. Except for the videos on using GIMP. It's how to do it in GIMP if I wanted to do a video on Inkscape. I'm not saying that you're wrong for using Inkscape, but I'm doing a video. It's like me doing a video on how to do something in Linux and someone coming along and going, you should do that in Windows. No, the video is on this topic. It's not on something else. But I just did a video and the comments that I've gotten on it in the first day are, are ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I don't want to sound mean, but it's, so I've been doing videos on the date command. Okay, so that's number one. So if someone comes along and says you shouldn't use the date command or you can use this other command, that doesn't make sense because the video is on using the date command. That's what this whole little series is on. But I posted it, the video in a Facebook uh, group and right away I got three comments all suggesting the same thing, things that work but are not solving the problem brought up in the video. It's like they didn't watch the video at all, that they just looked at the code and said, ha, huh, I can do better when they didn't know what they were supposed to be doing. So let's have a look at this. So the video is called, Will I Work on Christmas? And when I posted it on Facebook, my comment was, date command calculations to figure out which dates Christmas falls on. And the very first comment is, you mean days, not dates. So my first thought is, did I say something grammatically wrong in the video? Then I realized he was talking about my comment on YouTube, or on Facebook, the post. Uh, and he's saying that we should find out what days Christmas falls on. But that's not what I'm trying to find out in the video. I need to find out the dates, which might sound a little silly because you think Christmas falls on December 25th, but I need to find the date in epoch time format. So it's a number of seconds, so I can do mathematical equations on it. I don't need to know what day it falls on. The day of the week is irrelevant. I need to know the date it falls on. Next comment says, why overcomplicate this? We can do this using calc command and some simple grep and off. And then he goes ahead and posts his code, which is better than a screenshot, but that's what Pastebin and other websites are for. You really should be posting code in a comment. But his code, although it works, does not solve our problem. His code is figuring out, does this fall on a weekend or a weekday, which is not the goal of the video. I need to find out whether it falls on a shift. It could be a weekend or a weekday. It doesn't matter whether it falls on a Saturday or Sunday. And I think this is where people are getting confused. They didn't watch the video. They didn't see that this topic is on shift work, 24 hours shift work that goes 24 on, 48 off. Talked about that in the video. Doesn't matter whether it's a weekend or a weekday. So although his code works, one, I don't think it's any more complicated than my code, um, but it doesn't solve the problem that was brought up in the video. So this video, this code has nothing to do with the topic of the video. Not to mention that he's using the calc command, although he's also using the date command in there as well. But that doesn't help us. That's not what the topic of the video is on. Now moving on to the third comment. Now he points out, and this is a better option for solving what that guy was doing. That guy was saying that I overcomplicated it. He overcomplicated it. This is a much simpler solution. He's using saying, use the date command with percent %u and it will give you a number, 0 to 7, where 6 is Saturday and 0 or 7 is Sunday. So again, the second comment is saying, I overcomplicated it. Well, he way overcomplicated it, trying to figure out whether it's Saturday or Sunday, a weekday or a weekend. His way is way more complicated. The third comment is a much better solution if that was what I was trying to figure out. It is not what I was trying to figure out. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't apply. And I, I think that these guys, again, looked at the title of the video, maybe looked over the code, but didn't watch the video because they're all assuming that I'm trying to figure out whether it's a weekday or a weekend to see whether I work. It doesn't matter whether, when you're working a 24 hour, 48 shift, it doesn't matter because I will work Saturday. I will work every third Saturday, every third Sunday, every, every day I work three weeks from that date, I'm gonna be working that same day. So it doesn't matter the day of the week. And all these people are suggesting figuring out what day of the week it is so you can figure out whether it's a weekend or a weekday and that was not the topic of the video. And although I appreciate comments, I would also appreciate people watching the videos before commenting because if they watched the video at all, they would have clearly seen that what they're typing does not help. I'm not trying to figure out the day of the week. I'm just pointing this out because I get comments like this a lot. And again, 
I appreciate comments. And if someone showed me a way to simplify or shorten or be more efficient with my code, that's great. But to post code, tell me that I'm overcomplicating thing, and then so so show a solution that has nothing to do with the topic of the video is a little silly, especially when you've overcomplicated it, as in that second comment. But I thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to comment below. And I hope that this helps people just think through the process of writing comments and think before you type. Because there are people out there who are helpful and will type helpful comments. And then there's people who are clearly just trying to spout off and sound like they're superior to the person making the video or posting the comment. Uh, and you know what? Uh, that's a little bit of uh, pridefulness. Uh, and I'm not, again, not saying that I'm better than these people because their, their codes work. And, it's, and at the end of the day, does your code work? But their code is not working for the problem at hand. And when it comes to coding, coding is problem solving. So you need to figure out what the problem is and then come up with a solution. They came up with solutions, but not to the problem brought up. So thanks for watching. Filmsbychris.com. I hope that you have a great day.